we're going to use a nested if statement to go ahead and help us calculate the amount of bonus to give each of our stores based on their sales per quarter. What we want to do is start with a regular if statement and then we are going to nest another one into it. So in other words, if something meets a particular condition, do this. If it doesn't, go ahead and perform another if statement with another set of conditions. So let's get started. We're going to go up here to our formulas tab and insert function. We'll see our if and start with that. There is no nested if function. We're taking the standard if function and nesting another one into the formula. So we're going to start with a basic if. Our logical test we will say is before greater than or equal to 200,000. If that is true, and of course it's not here, if that's true, we'll very simple before times 10%. Uh, we'll give them a 10% bonus. How about that? Now, we're going to go and use this. We're going to go up here and work our formula. We'll come back in here a little bit. We see the answer there is false, and that's of course right, because this is not over 200,000. But what we want to say is, how about if people sell over 100,000, let's go ahead and give them 5%. How do we do that? We're going to nest another if, and we're going to do it right up here. We're going to go after our 10%, we're going to add a comma. We're going to add in our if again, and we have to put in another pair of parentheses. Now, we're basically doing the same thing here again. Let's say B4 is greater than or equal to 100,000. If that's true, comma, and you see it's following along here too. B4 times 5%. Now, the most important thing is we have an extra parenthesis out here. We have to, whenever you have a set of parentheses, you have to close them and open them both. So if I count, I've only got three, I need four. We're going to simply add another one here at the end. They have to be in pairs. We'll open that there, and you'll see now we did get that 5% bonus. Let's go ahead and drag it down, and we see where before nobody in the first quarter sold two hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff we had three that did one hundred thousand we gave them that bonus now let's go back up here and let's take a look at our function arguments and you see it wrote out this way in the function arguments so you can do it either way but i wanted to show it to you here before you attempted it in here now this is very important we started with the higher amount first and put the lower amount second. You have to do that. Let's watch what happens. Let me change this and switch these around. I'm not going to worry about changing the percentages because it isn't going to matter. See that? Now we gave it 10%. It's so, like, hey, wait a minute, what happened? See, that's a big mistake. The reason that that happened was, and let's start up here. Because remember how it goes, it follows them in order, and it's saying, is B4 greater than or equal to 100,000? Well, yeah, it is. That's true. So it went ahead and did this. It didn't even get to this point. You have to put, when you're dealing with values like this, you have to go ahead and make the higher value first. So be aware of that. And we can go ahead and finish it off over here. Okay, now one other thing I want to do is I don't want these to say false. I'd rather them be blank or because these are formatted in the accounting style, give me a hyphen. So what we need to do to make that happen is very simply go right there between the first closing parenthesis and that percent sign and add a comma. And I will go ahead and do this again and like that. And there you have it, a little bit better, and that is our nested if. 
Thanks for watching. For more great Microsoft Office tutorials, subscribe to TrainSignal's YouTube channel, TrainSignal Office. Or you can visit www.trainsignal.com for more information regarding our complete Microsoft Office training library.